Welcome back. It's clear that the root of scientificity is not devoid of a metaphysical superstructure, and that science, despite age-old efforts to separate from everything unscientific, is still developing on the basis of philosophy. The concept of science without philosophical elements is, as we noticed while analyzing analytical philosophy during our seventh session about metaphilosophy, a philosophical idea, as well as the attempt of logical positivism to subordinate philosophy to science. Science, like philosophy, is however not a closed system, but is driven by unscientific sources. Further, as the great naturalist Aristotle said, we must philosophize, <laughs> if only to avoid philosophizing. The problem of fixating the unambiguity of a phenomenon is, for example, well illustrated by the question of the authenticity of a color of a particular object. Let's say that you need to determine accurately the color of a dimly light paint. Then one could say that it seems that the color of picture is this or that, but the exact color is in fact unknown due to the lack of lightning. Analogical, one may also make the same kind of judgment due to a very strong lightning in opposite. But what kind of lightning is needed to accurately define a certain color of a painting is in fact impossible to define. So when choosing the suitable lightning, we are guided by usual general environment for achieving a conditional, practical, common understanding. In ancient times, Western philosophy and science were one, as we know. Then in the Middle Ages, there were attempts to reconcile Western philosophy and science in accordance with church dogmas, and within the framework of positivism, even to adjust philosophy to exact sciences. Throughout history, new sciences then spun off from philosophy, which were previously considered philosophical disciplines. So, for example, mathematics and also natural sciences, such as physics, chemistry, biology, got distinguished as separate sciences. And humanitarian sciences arose, such as grammar, history, psychology, pedagogy, economics, and finally, sociology on the basis of a common Western philosophical field. It then turned out, as Heidegger expressed it, that the science come out of philosophy and because of that they have to abandon philosophy. These sciences then began to split into even more narrow intellectual matters, sometimes interdisciplinary, such as biochemistry, and psycholinguistics. And the flower of Western philosophy has already grown into an endless garden of scientific fields, and the pace of the development is very unlikely to reach a limit in the future. And so in the 20th century, even logic began to stand apart as a separate scientific direction, conducting research independently of philosophy. What will happen with future philosophy? We actually already know based on our ninth and last session of our series called Metaphilosophy. But in our next coming sessions about philosophy and science, we will dig into more into the basis of science in relation to philosophy.